Studio Classroom is Record Studio Classroom Welcome to Studio Classroom on the air, where I know your English will improve. Okay, my name is Gabe, and here's my question for you. Have you ever considered becoming a farmer? All right, that's a pretty big job. What about something uh, simpler, maybe a gardener? Have you ever thought that you too could contribute to food production for your city or country? The title of today's lesson is permaculture. That's right, permaculture or permanent agriculture. And it includes the idea that everyone can be involved in using the land in a better way. So get out your highlighters because today you'll learn the words work the land and short sighted, among other useful things. All right, open up your magazine. And let's begin. Ah, permaculture. Yay! Permaculture. How does your garden grow? Food production is vital to a healthy population. Many believe that the capacity for a population to grow. Is limited by the quantity of food available. But there is more to sustainable food production than just avoiding the prospect of starvation. You must also work the land to boost its productivity without reducing its vitality. Doing anything else would be extremely short sighted. In the mid 1970s, Australian professor Bill Mollison and his graduate student David Holmgren were working on systems to restore degraded soils in Tasmania. Hi everyone, welcome to Language Lab. 今天的第一个重点，我们看 vitality 这个不可数名词。V I T 这个字根有生命的意思，所以 vitality 可以指生命力、活力或者是持久力。至于它的重音是在 T A 这个音节念成 vitality。例如 ，The new community center has brought vitality to the neighborhood。新的社区中心为这个地区注入了活力。或者是 ，Even though George is over seventy, his vitality is apparent for all to see。虽然 George 已经年过七旬，但是但是人人看起来都充满活力。它的形容词是 vital， 意思是极其重要的。例如 ，She didn't injure any vital organs in the accident, so her recovery was quick. 她在意外中没有伤及任何重要器官，因此复原的很快。继续，我们看 degraded 这个形容词。Degraded 本来是 degrade， 降解或者是自然分解这个动词的过去分词。当形容词是指降解后的，或者是受到损害的。例如 ，due to severe water pollution, almost 80 percent of the land in this area has been degraded. 由于严重的水污染，这个区域将近百分之八十的土地都被破坏了。Degraded 也指被贬低的或者是被轻视的。例如 ，the woman felt degraded when she was cruelly criticized by her colleagues. 当同事们残酷的批评她的时候，这位女性觉得自己备受侮辱。它的形容词是 degradable, d e g r a d a b l e， 意思是可分解的。例如 ，degradable plastic bags 是指可分解的塑胶袋。Thank you very much, Michelle. All right, let's learn something here about permaculture.、Hmm. We read here this question: How does your garden grow? Rebecca, have you heard that question somewhere before? How does your garden grow?、Mm, yes, I've heard that question from our lesson. No, no, no. Besides our lesson,、oh. have you heard that nursery rhyme? 
Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Exactly. Yes, I have. Indeed. All right. So the whole nursery rhyme goes like this. It's quite short. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With cockle shells and silver bells and pretty maids all in a row. So yes, sometimes the authors, the writers of our lessons here at Studio Classroom, like to choose things from different. English literature, different pieces of English literature, and throw them into our lessons just for fun. Well, it is a good question to, to think about, especially if you have a garden. How does your garden grow? Well, our lesson says food production is vital, very important to a healthy population. Many believe that the capacity for a population to grow is limited. By the quantity of food available, and I would have to say that there's probably some truth in that. Yeah, I would agree too. It's not something I think about too much because、mm -mm. I don't have a garden. I'm not a farmer,、um, but I think it's probably true. Well, before we continue learning about that, friends, you see these words: capacity for. To have the capacity for something is to have the Ability to do something, or perhaps to have the space available or the potential to do something. For example, you might see this these words at a restaurant. The capacity for this restaurant is thirty people, or the capacity for the car is five people. And maybe you've seen this word in an elevator, right? You、mm. might see a sign that says maximum capacity, ten people. That means the most people you can have in the elevator is ten people. So it's a good word to know. And of course, in our lesson, we're talking about population. Many believe that ca the capacity for a population to grow is limited by the quantity of food available. I wonder if that's also true about water. I wonder if it's like a combination of、mm -hmm. the availability of food and water. Well, that's a very good point. Right. But then, at the same time, as I'm thinking about this, there are so many people in the world that don't have enough food. You、mm -hmm. would think that. Yeah. How how did that population grow if there is not enough food? Well, right. So that that I guess it is a problem,、It'll, or it will、uh, continue to grow to be a problem over time. Well, the idea here is that there is more to sustainable food production than just avoiding the prospect of starvation. It's not just about not starving; you need to actually do、mm -hmm. more. And we see these words: the prospect of something. Okay, the prospect is a possibility that something could happen, or the possibility of something that might be expected, or the chances that something might happen. For example. If you are to go hiking on a very hot day, the prospect of de dehydration is very real. So make sure you bring plenty of water with you. All right, that is true. If you're going to go running as well on a、mm -hmm. hot or humid day, the prospect of dehydration is very real. Okay, we continue here. You must also work the land to boost its productivity. Without reducing its vitality, so work the land、mm -hmm. is a phrase that appears in this sentence. This means to grow crops, especially as a job. And when I think about working the land, the first type of people that come to my mind are farmers. A farmer's job is to work the land. That's how they produce crops. That's right. It's kind of a fun phrase. We could say. That a farmer is going out to、um, work on the land or work with his land, but we just say work the land, and we know what his job is. Okay. The next sentence says, "Doing anything else would be extremely short-sighted." That's a fun word to know. Short-sighted. This is not having the ability of imagining what might happen in the future. So it's not good to be short-sighted. For example. Let's say that you have a ton of money. It would be very short-sighted of you to spend all of your money at the same time at the same place. That's right. You need to have the opposite, and that is foresight. It's good to have foresight. 
We read on here in the mid 1970s, Australian professor Bill Mollison and his graduate student David Holmgren were working on systems to restore degraded soils in Tasmania. And then, and then, and then it's time for us to go to the, uh, the info, info cloud. cloud. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to InfoCloud. There are many people around the world who struggle to make enough money to survive or provide for their family. When you have a family to support, the kids at home are depending on you to bring home the bacon. That's an interesting way to put it. Bring home the bacon. Bacon is a fairly popular breakfast food in the U.S. When you bring home the bacon, it means you are providing food and other necessities for your family with the salary you earn. This phrase can also be used for anyone who brings success or something that's vital to an organization or place. For example, the new CEO closed a major business deal and brought home the bacon for the company. Another way of referring to the money we earn for our daily needs is daily bread. My father earns our daily bread as a bus driver. You'll notice with this phrase that we use the verb earn, just like we do with money. That's because bread can be another word for money. But this usage is generally considered slang and isn't used that often. Instead, you are more likely to encounter the idea of daily bread in writing, especially in the Bible. 在经济不景气的环境中，大家最关心的就是怎么样才能够 bring home the bacon. Bacon 在西方人的早餐桌上是最基本的食物。当我们说 he brings home the bacon. 就是代表他赚钱养家，让餐桌上有食物吃，供应家人一切生活所需。另外一种说法是 ，He earns his daily bread as a bus driver. 他靠驾驶公车来赚取生活费。Daily bread 这个词来自于圣经中的记载，当时人们的生活非常辛苦，每天都不知道下一餐饭到底在哪里，所以。Daily bread, 每一天的食物就是大家最关心的事情。因此，现在 daily bread 就代表每天的生活费。这就是今天的 Info Cloud。我们下次云端见。Welcome back to Studio Classroom, where we are learning about permaculture. What do you think of the idea of having gardens spread throughout the city, in the streets, on top of buildings, everywhere? Well, that is kind of the idea of permaculture. Everybody can do it. Speaking of gardens, a man should never plant a garden larger than his wife can take care of. All right. Well, let's continue learning about the history of. Permaculture. Permaculture. They called their approach permaculture, a way to design methods to support permanent agriculture. It began with observing healthy natural ecosystems and developing design principles. That emulate important aspects of those systems. Today, permaculture is a design philosophy that includes not just gardening and agriculture, but also architecture, community design, and even money management. It can be expressed in twelve principles that help place different elements together to support and sustain one another. It draws on scientific observation and research, as well as traditional wisdom and practices.
。All right， 接下来我们看的是 emulate 这个动词 ，emulate 在这里是指仿效、模仿或者是迎头赶上。例如 ，the restaurant chef is making some changes to emulate the success of other restaurants. 这家餐厅的主厨正在做改变，要赶上别家成功的餐厅。或者是 ，Dylan works hard not for the money, but to emulate his father's achievements. Dylan 努力工作并不是为了赚钱，而是为了要效法父亲一样那么有成就。他的名词是 emulation。例如。This athlete's determination and devotion is worthy of emulation. 这位运动员的毅力以及投入值得人们效仿。最后，我们看的是 sustain 这个动词。S U S 这个字首是指下方。T A I N 这个字是字根有保持的意思，所以 sustain 是指维持、支持或支撑。例如 ，the harvest from the previous few years isn't enough to sustain the family during the famine. 过去几年的收成无法让这个家庭在饥荒中可以支撑下去。昨天的课文里面还提到了它的形容词，就是 sustainable， 意思是指永续性的或者是不破坏环境的。例如 ，the new policy is aimed at promoting sustainable development in the country。这个新政策的目标就是要提升国家的永续发展。And now let's get back to our teachers. Well, thank you very much, Michelle. We were just beginning to learn about Bill Mollison and David Holmgren, and they were trying to restore degraded soils in Tasmania. Okay, we read on here. They called their approach permaculture. Now, before we continue with that sentence, let's take a look at that word "approach" as a verb. I could approach Rebecca. That is, she's standing there, and I'm going to walk up to her. And talk to her. Hi. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Okay, thanks for letting me approach you. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Now here in our lesson, it's a noun. So as a noun here, it means a method or a way of attempting something. Perhaps a way of attempting to solve a problem. For example, let's say that you want to discuss a very important issue with a friend. Maybe you and your friend had a disagreement about something. The best approach. Is to do it in love. Don't accuse the person, but show love. That's right. You can approach your friend and then tell them something they need to hear、mm. in love. Very good. So, friends, remember you can use this word as a verb or as a noun. They called this approach permaculture, a way to design methods to support permanent agriculture. That's where the word comes from. Permanent agriculture.、Mm. It began with observing healthy natural ecosystems and developing design principles that emulate important aspects of those systems. So today, permaculture is a design philosophy that includes not just gardening and agriculture, but also architecture. Pretty incredible, right? Well, right. So the idea is that. There are buildings involved as well, and I know that some people like to grow gardens on the tops、mm -hmm. of their buildings. Or if you go to the top of an apartment building, it might not just be flat cement. That's kind of boring, right?、Mm -hmm. But it might be a garden up there that someone is trying to cultivate. Exactly. Okay, so we see that architecture, community design, and even money management are all involved in. Um, I guess you could say permaculture. That's right, and we read on. It can be expressed. <clears throat> I guess they came up with twelve principles. It can be expressed in twelve <clears throat> principles that help place different elements together to support and sustain one <clears throat> another. Okay, so you can learn more about those principles. <clears throat> but let's take a look at that word sustain. You see the words su support <clears throat> and <clears throat> sustain here. Sustain means to keep going, or to continue, or to to keep in existence. Something is already there, and you want to keep it there. Here's another way that you can use the word to sustain. I believe Jesus is the only one that can truly sustain me in difficult times. It's a good thing to remember. Well, let's move on to the last sentence. It draws on scientific observation and research, as well as traditional wisdom. And practices. Now you see the word "draw" here. Draw can mean many different things, but in our lesson, to draw on something means to get inspiration from 
or perhaps do get energy from something. That's right. Well, right now it's time for us to、uh, draw something from the SC, SC challenge. challenge. All right, friends. For today's SC challenge, who is playing? Well, I have some questions, and of course, you are playing to see if you can guess the correct answer. But in the studio, who are today's players? Hi, everyone. I'm Linda, and I'm so glad to be here. And my name is Brandon. Great to be back here on SC Challenge. Excellent. It's always great having you two competing against each、mm-hmm. other. And we know who always wins, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Well, we will see who wins today because our lesson is about permaculture.、Mm, one、mm. of my favorite topics. Right. You don't even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> well. Well, then I guess maybe Brandon will win today's <laughs> lesson because it's his favorite topic. Okay. Number one. Which word or phrase is a synonym with to produce crops effectively? Okay. Producing crops effectively. What's a synonym for that? A. To have a capacity for. B to sustain, C to work the land, or D to draw on. Oh my goodness! I heard. Dun, dun, dun. Give me, sir, let me hear your bells again. Yeah, I heard、Mine、Linda first. Mine has a delay. Yeah, I heard.、So、I heard Linda first. It was me. Thank you. A delay. You. <laughs>、um, so it means to work the land. To. C C C C Senor. It means to work the land. Yes, that is correct. It is C. That's what I was going to say. Yeah,、oh, you're right. Too slow. Sorry.、Oh. Right, right, right. <clears throat> okay, he likes to work the land slowly. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay.、Chris、the next,、Chris. the next question, guys. Pay attention. Number two. What is the best description for permaculture? Brandon, you should get this because it's your favorite topic. What is the best description for permaculture? A. A culture of hair perms.、Mm. <laughs> B. Degraded environment. C. Scientific observation. Or D. Ongoing agriculture. <laughs> yes, Brandon. The answer is C. C. Scientific observation.、Uh, I don't think so. Are you Or sure? Or maybe it's D. No, no, no. You can't change your answer. You no, already said it. Okay. Well, he had one guess, and it's wrong. So, <laughs> Linda, what is your what's your guess? My guess is. B, and you're wrong. Oh, what?、Wow. Brandon, Brandon, here. Yes. Say that second、It's、thing. It's D. It yes, is, it, it is. <laughs> Very good. So now it's one to one. The the answer was D. Ongoing agriculture, according to me and my questions, is the best description for permaculture. Okay.、Mm. Number three, game point. What does permaculture draw on? A. Traditional wisdom and practices. B. Emulating ecosystems, C, gardening and agriculture, or D, all of the above. Yeah, Brandon was first. The answer is D, all of the above. I was going to say that. It's only because my bell has a delay that. Well, what if you? What if what if I told you, Linda, that Brandon was wrong? Oh, really? Then I'd say B. Well, you're wrong. Actually, Brandon was right. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, great job. Thanks a lot, Gabe. <laughs> Brandon, well, you guys both did a great job for a topic that Brandon knew more about, right?、Because、Which he really didn't, because he got both answers wrong. <laughs> no, no,、oh, I got just one got answer right. The second one was correct. And friends, I know you got all of the answers <laughs> correct. Thank you for joining us for the SC, SC challenge. challenge. We'll see you next time. Rebecca, I see you have a、uh, head of lettuce there. Oh yes, I like lettuce. That reminds me of a knock knock joke. Oh yes, knock knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. It's cold outside. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's、it? funny. Lettuce in. <laughs> lettuce in. That's great. <laughs> well, friends, thank you for joining us today, and make sure you come back tomorrow as we continue talking about permaculture right here on Studio Classroom. <laughs> Cares at all times. A friend endures at all times. A good friend lasts a lifetime. I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts a lifetime.